Hi, in this next video on how to use Microsoft Word, we're going to look at how to change font style and add effects to the style. As you can see from the screen, I've got some text on the document, and it's not a standard style of text. It's got an underline, it's a script flowy type of font, different size to what you will have seen me use in the past. So I'm going to show you how to make those changes. One of the important things to remember when you're adding and changing font styles and effects is that you have to select the text first. The computer can't second guess you, and that is quite common when users first start using software. They don't understand or they forget that they have to give instructions. For example, if I want to change the font style of the word how, I need to tell the computer that is the word I want to use. And I do that by selecting it. You'll have looked at how to select text in one of the previous videos. So you have to select the text first. If you don't do that, the computer doesn't know what text to change. Secondly, when we are working with these kind of changes, it is based on a character. That means that you can select one word, two words, a whole paragraph. Whatever you've got selected will be applied. Some changes, not that we're looking at now, but some changes, you don't have to select a whole paragraph of text for the changes to be applied. With this you do. Tell the computer exactly what text you want to apply the changes to by selecting. Making the changes is fairly straightforward. So we select the text that we want to work with. And then we use these icons at the top. A little row of them here. It's on the formatting toolbar. If you can't see the formatting toolbar, remember you can switch toolbars on and off using view toolbars. And that's the one we're using formatting. Also remember if you can't see these particular icons, sometimes they are hidden. And all you need to do is go to the end of the toolbar and click Toolbar Options. And there's the rest of the buttons or icons that are available on that specific toolbar. So don't worry if you can't quite see the ones that you're working with. OK, so we select the text and then we just dial up the effects that we want. First of all, notice that these boxes, and there's the font box that we're going to work with, the size box, the bold italic and underline all take on the styling that you have selected so you know what style has been applied to some text simply by clicking on it and selecting it so this particular style that i've got a nice sort of handwriting style of, of text is actually a style called bradley hand itc it is a font size of 36 it is bold italic and underlined Let's just switch the underline off by clicking the button and you'll be able to see that the underline has gone from the text. Select the text again, click the button. So these are little toggle switches and you can toggle on underline and toggle off underline. And you can do the same with bold and italics. Switch off italics and you can see the effects that that has. Switch on italics, switch off italics. Switch off bold, and you can see the effect that it's got. Switch on bold, and you can see it makes it a deeper, darker colour. Sometimes you do need to click away from the text that you've got selected to see the effects of the change. So I've got the text selected. We've looked at bold, italic and underlined, and I've now switched all those effects off. We can alter the size next. The font size has got some sizes predetermined in here. So it was at size 36. If I want to change it to size 14, which is obviously smaller, I simply click on the 14, and that style size has now been changed. I can select the text again, click on the drop down arrow just to the right of the font size box, and choose the size that I want to apply. Notice when I do that, select the text, click on the drop down. These are going up in twos. 
but you can do different numbers. I could do 21 or 21.5 for that matter. And I can do that simply by typing the numbers into this box. 21. What you have to remember then is that you must press the Enter key to make that happen. That dial is now size 21. We can see it's size 21 because it says 21 in the box. That's a fairly straightforward way of changing the size of the text. And this is real size. This really is not just changing the size on the screen, as Zoom does. It actually changes the size of the text on the printed paper. Next, we'll look at font style. So we select the text and we use the font menu. We click the drop down arrow just to the right of the words. And there's all our choices. The styles that you use recently are usually in this top area here. And you can see there's a, um, two horizontal lines just underneath Arial rounded. So those top three are ones that I've used recently. That can be a useful feature. But if you look, there's also a scroll bar. And I can scroll down this scroll bar to see all the different fonts that are installed on your computer. When you see the one that you like the look of, you can simply point to it, make sure it's highlighted, click the left mouse button, and those changes have been applied. So you select the text, click on the drop down, scroll down till you find the text that you like the look of, and click. What you can also do is click in the side of the box and start typing. For example, if I want the font style Comic Sans, I can start typing Comic Sans, and then the words appear in this box. Once you get to the one that you like the look of, you can pre simply press the Enter key, and those changes are made. Because it can be a lot of scrolling down there, and if you know the name of a particular font, just start typing it in. There's one called Perpetua, so if I just start typing Perpetua, there it is, jump straight to it, click on the link. So remember you have to select the text, which means that you can select just one character and make changes to that one character. Let's make that letter very big. And just makes change that one character. You could select two characters and make changes. Let's make that bold and underlined. You can select one or two words and make changes. And finally, you can also make changes by using the Format menu, because remember these are shortcuts. And just while I'm on there, can you see that they're now blanked out? When I told you that they take on the style that you've got selected, well that's because I've selected more than one style. I've got this style and this style and this style, so it doesn't know what to show. So it doesn't show anything. Once you've got your text selected, you can then do Format, Font, and there's your font styles. You can just click in the box, bold italic, size 10, and OK. So that will select the text, format, font, and dial up your choices in these top three boxes. We're actually going to come back and have a look at this window again at a later date. So that's changing font style and adding effects, and it's simply selecting the text that you want to work with, and then using these icons to dial up the properties that you wish.